throttle. It's got some power. Hi guys, welcome back to the RC Story. My name's Ammo. In this video, guys, we're going to be checking out the FMS Ranger. Guys, I want to give a huge shout out to FMS for sending me this. I always said that on this channel, I want to explore everything RC. Guys, I love my RC cars and they are my main priority when it comes to the RC spectrum. However, I want to explore every avenue. Now, planes. Those of you that don't know me or that are new to the channel, I used to have RC planes or a plane many, many, many moons ago and um, I absolutely enjoyed it. However, when I mean many, many moons ago, I'm talking over 10 years. So I'm completely out of touch with RC planes. So I thought what better way to get back into the hobby by getting a Ranger. Now this is by FMS, a 1220mm wingspan, ready to run. It comes with absolutely everything in the box, um, ready to go and what a plane to start off on. It is a trainer plane. Um, guys, I'm not a complete novice to planes. I know how to fly planes, etc. I'm just a bit out of touch. Just simple reason being, I, I've not really flown many for the past few years. So I'm guessing my muscle memory, my thumbs, fingers, etc., will come straight back once I get this up in the air. Um, I'll probably try a few laps on a simulator before I get it out. But in this video, guys, we're going to check this out. Let's get it unboxed and let's see what it comes with. And for some of you viewers out there that are probably thinking, you know what? This summer, I might try a plane. Guys, perfect start this is. Um, Perfect base to begin with. It comes with everything you need. I believe it comes with a controller, charger, battery. Basically, build it up and out you go. So guys, without further ado, let's get into this. Have a look at the box art. Get into the unboxing and see what it comes with. As you can see on the box there, very nice and colourful. Um, it tells you the wingspan, etc. Tells you all the specifications there at the bottom. If you're interested, you can actually pause. I will try and zoom in for you if you can't read any of the info. Everything's there. I'm not going to bore you with reading everything out. I believe it's um, a Ford channel, I believe this is. And this comes with absolutely everything, guys. Um, it comes with floats as well. So if you want to practice landing on water or not even practice, Say if you want a plane, but that's not very expensive and you want to mess around landing on a lake, etc. Here you go. Perfect. It comes with floats. So looking at it just there, guys, on the specification. Yes, it's a four channel. Um, it's a 1,220mm um, wingspan, which is 48 inches. The overall lengths there. The flying weights there. ESC, it's got a 20 amp ESC in there. And the recommended battery is the 3S 1300 milliamp 25C discharge, which I believe this comes with a battery as well. This is a complete RTR. So let's get it unboxed, guys. So guys, I've emptied the box out. And I'm just going to run through absolutely everything that comes with it. So you've got your main fuse lodge sitting there. It comes with a motor and propeller already attached at the front. Over here, you've got your uh, wheels. You do also have these extra rods here, which are for these skis. So if you want to land in water, you can do. You do have these skis. These skis also have... A rudder on the back which helps it steer in water you do have a fly sky um, controller there which is the FS 14 X you do also get your chargers you get a bag here with a few bits and bobs in them uh, bear with me so you've got your charging leads um, for I guess that's a US plug there 
Um, you've got extra cables in there. I need to open all this up and have a look. And then you've also got your wings. So guys, it's all out. Um, I know some of you are gonna turn around and say to me, Ammo, you have not got a plane stand here. I do have one, it's on the way. I ordered one, it's just not turned up yet. Uh, so unfortunately for now, I'm making use of the box. Guys, I just wanna say, those that are new to planes, this can look very daunting. The amount of parts, everything spread out. But trust me, these are a lot easier to put together than your old school balsa board planes. So some of you that are watching this content at the minute, that are familiar with planes, remember the good old days where you had to get a kit made out of balsa wood, you cut it all, stick it all together, put your film over it, iron it all on and so forth. Yeah, they were the good old days. Now it's just polystyrene foam, basically screw everything together, no gluing involved. Everything on this plane, all your electronics, etc., come pre-installed, as you can see just there. So it's literally a case of bolting everything together, setting it up, and um, going for a blast, I guess. So um, I'm just going to run you through the electronics, etc. I'll bring the camera closer, show you what comes in this, and then I'll build it all up and show you the end product. Also, if you want to purchase one of these, there is a link in the description. Be sure to check that link out. By you clicking on that link, it does help support the channel. So I just want to thank you guys in advance. But yeah, check FMS out. So in here, guys, you can see your micro servos just sitting there. You've also got a battery already pre-installed. Uh, you can see your receiver. There's a battery, the 1300 milliamp battery, LiPo battery in there. Um, your receiver sits there on top, um, already installed. Just lifting this cap up over the front, guys. You can see there a bit of wood there. And that's where your LiPo battery basically gets strapped in so it doesn't move out of position. Um, I'm guessing they've just tucked it in there for now. But yes, you build it all up and you strap it all in position there. So this is the Fly Sky controller. Just to show you in detail, guys. It's a very, very basic controller. I will be using this on this particular plane. However, I do have a Spectrum NX8, um, which I will probably transfer it over onto that. However, for its maiden flight, I will be using this just to test it out. And um, yeah, see what the RTR kit's like, to be fair. Over on the back, it does have a port for a training lead if you wish to uh, buddy up with somebody. Also, here, it just takes your standard four AA batteries. So it doesn't come with a LiPo, um, just your standard four AA batteries in there. So guys, I thought it'd be best for me to show you guys the manuals from this angle. So looking at the manuals, over here it shows you all the kit content, um, everything that comes with it. And then it starts by basically um, installing the landing gear, how to install that. Um, and then going over onto the next page just here, basically attaching all your wings and what's required there. And then if you want to assemble your floats, um, you can do if you're using wheels and obviously refer to the first step. And um, yeah, I think this is quite easy for somebody that's a novice and someone that's new to the hobby. It, it basically shows you everything you require and receiver diagram is just here. So if you don't know what channel one does, you know it's for your aileron, and then obviously channel two there uh, for your elevator, your throttle, rudder, gear, and so forth. So that explains absolutely everything there. Here on this side, it shows you what the controls do. So like I said, if you're a complete novice and you don't know what does what, this will show you on the controller how to bank left, bank right, climb, descend, and so forth. Everything is here, um, which is great. Like I said, this is a perfect starter uh, plane for someone that's new to the hobby. The wingspan is at a decent size as well um, to help control it through the air. Here, if you've got any troubleshooting issues, this allows you to basically have a look and try and find a solution. You've got spare parts list just over here. 
and now it basically goes into different languages so it does have multiple different languages as well you also get the fly sky um controller manual so the transmitter manual um you can look at this and this will basically allow you to see what's what everything is pretty much covered in the main manual but if you do want the transmitter manual you do have the option here it does go through in different languages once again as i showed you in the main manual it shows you obviously your aileron throttle rudder and so forth here it also shows you your setup in mode one and mode two so depending on how you're going to set yours up um, a lot of people i believe use mode two but you can use mode one if you wish and and then it goes basically into different languages and so forth as well so guys now that i've got the plane unboxed i had to move it off the desk because it was covering the whole desk um now that i've got it unboxed what i'm going to do is build it once it's built, i'll pull you guys back on show you it complete and let's see what you guys think guys i'm back it literally took no longer than 10 to 15 minutes to build this literally so easy at the bottom on the wheels literally on the landing gear four bolts landing gears on at the top over here bolt the wings together and literally pull them on top and you do have fixings that are removable fantastic um i have sorted the central weight of gravity so that's all done it's basically pretty much ready to go out and have a little flight i have set up the gyro so the gyro system's all working I don't know if a camera can catch it, but the tail's working. Everything's working as it should. Um, throttle. I shouldn't really do this indoors, but I'll give it a go for you guys. Throttle. It's got some power. <laughs> but yeah, it's all running, guys. Like I said, I'm no expert on RC planes. And that's the honest truth. Um, I know a bit about cars, but I don't know that much about planes. However... I wanted to try the planes like i said i've used planes in the past it's been many many years ago so i thought let's get back into some plane action as well don't get me wrong you won't be seeing loads of plane footage on this channel it'll be once in a blue moon you'll probably see something to do with a plane so i thought let's start off with a trainer plane again get this running this is now built we will do some footage in the future with this we'll go out and about and have some fun and like I said, it gives you that break from RCs. Now, some of you out there that have been bashing RCs or crawling or been thinking, right, I probably want a plane at some point. Guys, someone's around the corner. Pick yourself one of these up. It's the FMS Ranger. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. Like I said, if you do buy one from that link, it does support our channel. Now, I appreciate that in advance. But guys, what a little, little plane. A beginner plane i can't complain i did build one of these um it wasn't a ranger it was a sky trainer 182 it wasn't mine and um, it was built for my cousin and you've probably seen it in some of our earlier videos floating at the back etc i still got it it's over down there um <laughs> there's a long story with that one so he knows nothing about rc planes and he said to me ammo since i was a kid you know i've always wanted a plane and i went right he goes, so look what I brought. He brought a plane, guys. He had no experience whatsoever. He refused to listen to me in terms of working out um, the controls. I explained to him, jump on a simulator. He wasn't ready for that. He just wanted to go out and have a blast. And guys, he had a blast. <laughs> it lasted about, all about five seconds and it ended up in tears. And that was the story with that plane. However, he left it here and he goes, I'm going to fix it, do what you want with it, etc. And I've just had it in the back and I've never really got around to flying planes. I'll be honest with you, I've been so involved with all these RC cars. Um, don't get me wrong, I love them. But I thought this summer, it'd be nice just to get even a video of a plane now. So, um, yeah, we're going to um, fly this. Guys, if you love our content, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that notification button and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.